welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you with um, a video about the Tracy Ellis Ross pattern hair care products um, there are three products that I decided to use and I am going to be using them individually and not together and so here you see I have already gone and co-washed my hair letting you know that it's nice and clean and fresh and ready to apply the product so I'm, the first product I'm going to try is going to be the leave-in conditioner. I'm using the leave-in conditioner by itself, and I'm just going to use it as a wash and go. It says it can be used on dry hair or damp hair. So the second product that I'm going to use on a different day is going to be the Curl Gel. That won't be today. It'll be on another day. And then the last product that I have that I'm going to try is a styling cream. And I'm going to use that on a different day as well. And I will come back with those videos showing you how I used them and how my hair responded to the products individually. So I'm starting out with the trial size um, three ounce product because I didn't want to invest a lot of money into the products and then they didn't work. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. I did smell it. All of the products have a really nice aroma. They smell so good. Um, they have a really nice consistency as well. Um, as you can see, the leave-in conditioner is nice and thick. And it should adhere to the shafts of my hair very well. So I'm just going to apply it to my ends first. And then I'm going to work my way down to the roots. And this is how I apply any product when I do a wash and go. Um, I apply it to my, my ends first because that is the oldest part of your hair and it requires the, mo the most moisture. And so um, I always try to get it on the ends very well. So now I'm just going to take it in little sections and start applying it to the different sections. And I like to do the method that I'm using here is what they call finger combing instead of using a styling tool. And it's because I feel like I can get the product in there really well. My hair is thick. Um, it was thinning out at some point, but it's starting to get back thick again, which I'm loving. So my hair does usually take a lot of product to work it in. Um, and also because I have issues with my hair uh, being a little dry lately, which is why I'm on the hunt for a new product because the products that I was using before just seem to stop working. Um, my, I, as we know, our bodies change. And so, yeah, being natural, some products you've used for a while and then all of a sudden you just you can't use them anymore because they're just not giving life to your hair the way that it used to. And that's the situation that I find myself in now. So again, I'm just finger combing my hair, just working it in. I'm working in the product. And we'll see what it what it looks like when I'm all done. So I'll just let you keep watching. Right, and we're all done. So now I'm just showing you what the product, uh, how the product makes my hair look. It's all nice and thick and pretty. My coils are so juicy, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. My hair is growing back, y'all. I was I was on a mission trying to figure out how to get my hair back because I just could not deal with the shedding. 
But yeah, so I got it all in there. Everything looks good. I'm real happy um, so far. And that's going to do it for the first product. And we'll come back and let you know what we think. Hey, y'all. I'm back. And today we I'm showing you that I need um, curl, curl cream, styling cream. And this is the second product that I'm trying out. And my daughter actually twisted my hair for me. She does it so nice and neat and tight. And I cannot wait to take these down to see how beautiful the um, curl pattern is for this twist out. And this has been up for a couple days. So we're going to see what it does. I'll come back. the styling product uh, pattern that I bought. So I wanted y'all to see how beautiful the curls, the curl pattern is from the twist out. My daughter did my twist out. So I just wanted to come and show y'all. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all the back. I don't know if y'all can see the back. My daughter um, did it for me and I untwisted. It's been twisted up for a few days, but you see how many curls and y'all, it is so soft. It is so soft. I really like it. Bye. Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am coming back with a, um, this is the third um, product test, okay? Um, I've used the leave-in conditioner, and I've used the, um, style, I think it's called the styling cream. And so today I'm going to use the curl gel. And it says that you can use this product either on wet or dry hair. So I'm going to go ahead. I just co-washed and detangled my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take my towel off before I actually do anything with my hair because my hair is still damp. Um, what I want to do is I've already hydrated my face. I want to go ahead and put on my serum. And usually, uh, you don't need a lot of this. So usually I just take and put a little bit on my fingertips like this. And just work it into my, my skin. And I don't wear... I, it's not that I've never worn foundation, but on a daily basis, I don't wear makeup like that. Usually, if I put any makeup on, you know, during the week, uh, it's just a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeliner, and some lip gloss. Um, I, I don't even know the last time I might have put some foundation on. I do own foundation, but I don't wear it on a regular basis. And I think that... Um, the last time I considered putting on foundation, I put on the foundation that I already have. And I noticed that it didn't look right on my skin anymore. So I think my skin has changed colors. So I'm like, it doesn't match the way that I want it to. And so I just take a small amount of, this is my Dermacil. This is the one with the lipids, my favorite um cream and again this one is hypoallergenic and it controls uh severe dry skin so i don't need a lot especially with putting up the oil on my skin oh uh, I just want to make sure I did that before I forgot because there's been a couple times where I cleaned my face and hydrated my face. And then later on, I'm going, why does my skin feel so dry? It's because I didn't moisturize my face. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do, this is um, a leave, a leave it, it's a detangling spray. But I mixed it, um, and it's made by Motions. I poured out half the bottle, and I filled the rest of the bottle up with aloe water. So I have another bottle of this at work that I keep. So 
It's um, half of this plus aloe water. And the reason I did that is because I noticed that it's a detangling spray, but it's, it was it was a little thick for my liking. So I'm just going to go ahead and I don't need a lot because uh, I just co-washed my hair. So, I, But I just want to get it in there. So again, if you're doing the lock, me meth lock method, I'm doing this out of order. But... Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Um, and lock is liquid oil and cream. So, um, oh, so I guess I'm not doing it out of order. <laughs> so this is gonna be my liquid. And I'm just kind of working it in. And the oil that I'm using is made by BLT Beauty. And it's the all over luxury oil. Okay. And so, ooh, I have this on here tight. And so this, I usually just take the dropper. And this is for my scalp. I don't put the oil like on my hair. I just go in a couple drop droppers full. Because I got a big head. And... Just make sure I get it all on my scalp. And the reason I do so much is because my hair is prone to um, to dryness. And by me using the oil on my scalp, it'll help to lubricate the follicles and therefore help my hair to stay moisturized and strengthened. So now I'm just working the oil into my hair. And working the oil into my scalp, I mean, and then I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into four parts, and I'm just going to put the product in. I'm not really going to style it per se, so, but I guess I'm doing like a wash and go. So I'm just going to let you Watch me as I do this. And I'll detangle each section as I get to it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's already been detangled in the shower, but... Uh, I don't know about y'all, but... I hate doing my hair. I really do. That's why a lot of times you see me with it just pushed up. I'm not really a fan of uh, beauty regimens and stuff like that. I just, I'm a low maintenance type person. And I know you got to brush your teeth, wash your face, take a bath, all that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff I'm not talking about. I'm talking about all the makeup and the hair and the nails. and the, It's just a lot for me. I don't know how you girly girls do it because it wears me out it's like that's a lot and i know some people will say oh well you don't take pride in how you look i take pride in how i look don't mean i got to do all of that you know i like to look nice sometimes i like to feel pretty sometimes but i couldn't do that on a daily basis i really couldn't i, I don't know how y'all do it it's, it's just a lot for me so, especially with my hair. So now I got my hair parted into four parts. I have this um, brush that I found. And I know y'all have seen this. This is a cheap version. But it does work. I like how it um, allows me to comb through my hair. So now I got, uh, got me parted up. And I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb to go through. And then just break it up a little bit more. gonna be in the way let me see if I can move this clip back here okay so now I got it down a little bit more and so again we're going to use this okay yes yeah, so it's already open 
and I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, so we're just going to go with it. Oh, look at there. It has like a, a tacky consistency. Oh, this might actually, I think I, this might be my, my favorite out of the three just because of how it felt as soon as I put it on my hair. I'm like, literally, as soon as I put it on my hair, I could feel the difference. And I'm curious to know, like, how this how this is going to dry. And I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use that brush. I'm just going to finger comb this through my hair. But I do think I need some more. Oh, I might have to take a picture in the mirror to see, like, how... Uh, these curls are looking, y'all. Y'all know, you see all the natural, naturalistas do the praying hands method, and this is to smooth it all through your hair. So I'm liking that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let's go ahead and do the back. already happy with this one all right Tracy all right I'll see you girl um my only thing is that the product is not uh in order to get like the larger bottles I got the smaller size for a couple reasons one because it to me it's a little pricey but I guess you know depending on what you what you're using and what your budget is it might be worth it um, I didn't know if it was going to be worth it and I didn't want to spend the money on the big sizes and then I'm thoroughly disappointed because there are some products that came highly recommended by some people who are natural and I know that all products don't work for all people, but they came highly recommended and they didn't work for me at all. So now if I, you know, want to try something and I'm not trying to be a product whore or anything like that, and they call it a product whore because you're constantly out there buying the, the latest on the market or whatever, and that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what my hair likes because the the my hair is behaving differently, and so what I used to use I can't use anymore because it doesn't it doesn't really do my hair the way that I need it to. So let's go ahead and do this front. So far, um, I'm good, you know. So far, it's looking good. So this, you know, my hair, it's getting, it, it's getting back thick like it was, but I'm not getting the length that I want. And I've already trimmed my edges and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm not really sure why it's not growing out. Because I'd love to have some hang time. You know what I'm saying? I would love to have you know, to be able to do a style like this and my hair hang instead of, you know, recoiling. So, I don't know. We got to see. Because I know some natural, um, naturalistas, they got some beautiful hang time. I'm like, jeez, I wish I had the, the length. So, Oh, y'all see that? So, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. But I'm again, I'm wondering how it's going to dry. Because some products that start off like this, they dry crunchy. And I want to say, because what I did is I went to, um, when I went to the website, I was watching. I didn't just... Uh, go to the website and shop. I went to the website and I was reading the information on the products and I was watching Tracy's videos and different stuff like that, trying to become familiar with the products so that I can see which ones I wanted to try. So yeah, uh, that's what I was saying about getting the trial size because I didn't want to spend the money on a product and it didn't work. So those are the two reasons I got it. I didn't want to spend all that money on the regular sizes and it 
It just, it didn't work for me because then it would have been a waste. So, so far. Now I will say, um, I like the leave-in conditioner, but I do believe that, um, I could do either the leave-in conditioner or the styling cream. I don't think I sh it it to, for me it wouldn't make sense to have both. So if I get the larger sizes, I'm definitely going to have a, have to make a choice about whether I want the leave-in conditioner or whether I want the the styling cream because to me they kind of do both when you read um the labels and listen to the video watch the video and stuff like that and explain what is, you know, listen to the explanation of what it's used for. Um, then to me, it, does, it doesn't it does make good sense to buy both. But to each his own. So I got it all in my hair and I think I'm going to do another pass just kind of overall. And I have to come back in a few hours and let you know if, you know, it dried crunchy or not. Like, what was the texture? And I'm kind of thinking that even if it does dry, dry crunchy, maybe the solution is to pair it with the leave-in conditioner so that you don't have that you got the benefit of the of the product you know for styling purposes and then you soften it with the leave-in conditioner so that's what i'm thinking because you know me i could do a wash and go and be perfectly happy push it up into a a, a little poof or whatever and keep it moving as long as the hair that's, that's showing is um nice and healthy and conditioned so yeah i think i am gonna run in with the brush really quick just to kind of work the product in a little bit And I know y'all probably hearing that snapping and crunching or whatever it is. Don't be alarmed. That's these little things popping back against each other. And it don't hurt. It's, it's, this is a really good product to uh, detangle your hair. And I like how it's really getting that. Really getting it in there. Yeah. So anyway, I think I'll come back in about an hour and let you see what it looks like and then uh, tell you what it feels like. And then I think after that, like if I if it's a little crunchy or whatever, then I'll go ahead and put in some leave in conditioner just to kind of give it a little help. So anyway. I will see y'all back in a little bit. Hey y'all, as promised, I am back and it's about two hours later and I am so impressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my glasses and I'm gonna come up a little close to the camera. No crunch, super soft, very hydrated. I am so loving this. I didn't have to add anything to it. So can y'all see? I hope y'all can see. So I know to y'all, y'all probably looking like, that look like a bird's nest. It look like a bird's nest. So my curls, as y'all saw me using that brush, my curls are not defined because I brushed my hair completely straight and then just kind of teased it a little bit. But this is a wash and go product for me. Um, I'm going to see how it does for the rest of the day. And again, if I feel like the product needs some help, I'm going to go ahead and um, use the leave-in conditioner. But 
I did make a decision that I'm going to go ahead and go with the leave-in conditioner and the curl cream, no, the curl gel, because what I used today was the curl gel. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and get the styling cream because, again, it just doesn't make any sense to get the styling cream and the leave-in conditioner because they both kind of did the same thing for me. And so anyway, Tracy Ellis Ross, I'm impressed with your product. Um, I am going to have to figure out what kind of investment I can make. Um, this is this product has worked the best for me so far out of the few that I've tried. Of course, I did the motions. I did um, Aunt Maddie's, I think it is, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I reviewed these already for y'all. And then um, now I've tried this one and I actually did try another one. I just can't remember what the name of it is. But out of the four products, this is the one that I like the best. So I'm going to look on the website and I am going to, one, I also need to invest in a, a bonnet because I do not have a bonnet. So I don't sleep with anything on my hair, which is another reason why it's not really staying moisturized. But anyway, I'm going to check out um, the website and find out what, because um, I think they have them in either two or three sizes. I know it's this one, and I think there might be two other sizes and figure out what's going to work best for me because I don't know how much of the product I'm going to have to use on a daily basis, um, but we will see. And hopefully I can come back in about six months and let y'all know what I think, maybe three months. Maybe, yeah, let's say we'll maybe do it in three months. So what is that going to be sometime March-ish, um, March, April? And I'll let y'all know if I'm still using the product, um, if I'm if I'm still using a product line, and if I'm still using these two products, or have I tried anything else from the pattern line. But that's going to be a good review for me. And so that's going to do it, y'all. This is my pattern product review. I've tried all three products over a span of time. I like all of them. I do like the curl gel way better than anything I've ever tried. I like how it feels on my hair. And um, I just, I can't wait to see uh, like overnight or in another few hours, you know, what my, how my hair responds to it. So if I have any um, additional feedback, then I'll put, put it in another video. But thank y'all so much for joining me. And I do appreciate y'all hanging in there. Please don't forget to like, comment, share this video out. And if you're not a member of the DFC, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a member. But don't forget to turn on your bell to all notifications so that you are notified every time I upload a new video or go live. So that's going to do it for us. Y'all know we're going to get out of here, but we don't do so without saying love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Bye.